Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about analysis of variance, or F-tests. These are different from T-tests, where we just had two groups and we were comparing them against each other. Within ANOVA, or analysis of variance, we compare more than two groups to see whether at least one group is significantly different from the other groups. Okay? It won't tell us which one at this point, and it won't tell us which of the groups are different from each other. It just tells you that at least one group is significantly different from all the other ones. To show you this, let's say in orange here I have one group. Okay, I'm going to draw these as simple curves or distributions. They're centered around a mean and they have a certain spread or standard deviation. So let's say in orange I am right there. In red this is another group and its distribution is relatively close to the mean of the orange distribution. And lastly, let's say that way out here I have a group in blue and it looks like that. Now just looking at all three of these groups and their distributions, you can tell that at least one of these groups, namely the blue group, is significantly different from the other ones. Okay? We're going to get into calculating how you do that in a later tutorial. But conceptually, what an F-test or analysis of variance is, is it's a ratio of variances between these groups. So you take the variance between the groups and you compare it to the variance within the groups. If the variance between the groups is relatively larger compared to the variance within the groups, we go ahead and we reject the null hypothesis that all these groups are more or less equal to each other. If, on the other hand, all of these groups were really tightly clustered around each other, then the variance between the groups would be pretty similar to the variance within the groups, and your F ratio would be much lower. In that case, you would probably fail to reject the null hypothesis. In the next tutorial, we'll go through step-by-step step how to do these calculations in a real example.